Hello good dear viewers, let us talk about the constant of integration. We have learned that whenever we integrate a function, we usually obtain an entirely different function plus the constant of integration. So why the constant of integration? Let us find out. Suppose we have a simple function like this, which is x cubed plus 2x plus 5. Let us differentiate this function first. You know, whenever you are given a function f of x equal to x to the power of n, to differentiate this function, which is f prime of x, is equal to the n will drop down to multiply, and you have to subtract 1 from that n. So now let us apply the same thing to differentiate this function. It is going to be f prime of x equal to the 3 will drop down to multiply. We have 3 x raised to the power of that 3 minus 1 which is 2 plus you know naturally this has a power of 1 so the 1 will multiply 2 we have 2x raised to the power of this 1 minus 1 will give us 0 and x to the power of 0 is 1 therefore the whole of this x will go leaving only 2 and if you differentiate a constant you are going to obtain 0 why because naturally it has x to the power of 0 attached you know x to the power of 0 is 1 and 1 times that constant is still the constant the moment this 0 drop down to multiply everything will be equal to 0 this is why whenever you differentiate a constant you get 0 all right this is now the derivative of our original function which is this and we have learned that integration is just the opposite of what differentiation Therefore, we expect to get our original function the moment we integrate this function. So let's do that. So we are going to integrate the left and the right hand side. We integrate the whole of this f prime of x. And we also integrate 3x squared plus 2 with respect to x in both cases. All right, before we integrate this function, let me remind you about something. If you had to integrate x to the power of n with respect to x, you know it is going to be equal to x raised to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the constant of integration. And that's exactly what we are going to apply here. So if you integrate the left-hand side, you know it was f prime of x. It is now going to be f of x. This is equal to, we're going to integrate this separately. Let me start with um, 3x squared. We have 3x to the power of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. That's exactly what I told you here. We do the same thing here plus, you know naturally this 2 has an x to the power of 0 attached. So let me just bring it back. We have 2 x to the power of 0 but that's 0 plus 1 divide by 0 plus 1 then plus the constant of integration let us simplify f of x is now equal to we have 3x to the power of 2 plus 1 is 3 divide by 2 plus 1 is also 3 plus 2x to the power of 0 plus 1 is 1 so we don't even have to write it Divide by 0 plus 1 is also 1. Dividing by 1 will not change anything. Plus the constant of integration. But you can see clearly that this 3 will cancel this 3. Finally, what do we have? We have f of x equal to um, x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus c. Now let us compare this function with what we have initially. You know, from the starting point, we have x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 5. But in the end, we obtain plus c instead of plus 5. Does it mean that uh, this 5 is equivalent to c? Because this c stands for a constant, and you know that 5 here is also a constant. So let us find out whether that c is equivalent to 5. What are we going to do? We are going to obtain uh, an initial condition. And how can we do that? We can substitute any value for x to obtain the corresponding value of f of x. Remember, this is the original function. 
So what if x is equal to 1? You can use any value I told you. So we have f of 1, suppose x equal to 1, equal to 1 to the power of 3, plus 2 times 1, plus 5. f of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 3 is 1, plus 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5. If you add all of this together, you have 8. Therefore, f of 1 is equal to 8. What does this mean? It means that when x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to 8. Or you can call it y. They are all the same. So we can substitute this condition into this to see whether we are going to get c equal to 5. So let's do that. You know we have f of x equal to x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus c. So we're going to substitute this condition. f of x is 8, so we have 8 here, equal to 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 times 1 plus c. Are we going to obtain c equal to 5? Let us find out. 8 equal to 1 to the power of 3 is 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2, then plus c. And you know that this is 3, and you can bring it to the other side. We have 8 minus 3 equal to c. And 8 minus 3 is 5, and hence c is equal to 5, which you can simply bring back here if and only if initial condition is given to you. But if the initial condition is not given, you leave it like this plus c. So you have seen that c represents that 5. So what I would like to tell you is that whenever you have a function that contains a constant, the moment you differentiate it, the constant will become 0 and you have your new derivative. And if you integrate the derivative, you're going to obtain the original function back, but you will never get that constant. This is why we replace it with c, for which c is a real number. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.